Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightsailVR.com. I was just in the Octane for Blender Discord, and the user Wolf shared this Octane Proxy stuff that sort of blew my mind. I didn't quite understand what Octane Proxy was till now. I think I understand what it is now, but this is uh, one of the use cases. This is a, I have no volumetrics in my scene. I didn't add any clouds or any, any volumes or anything. This is just a volumetric spotlight. So it's just a volumetric spotlight and it's doing all of this. Uh, of course, I put a monkey in here. So I think this is really, really neat. I think that basically what this does is it opens up a the node graph. Actually, I will, uh, I will just, uh, let me close this. So if you, let me just start over here. So if you add, search for proxy, and then you click on this node graph, it will open up this node graph editor, and now you can search for anything, but in this case, we're looking for volumetric spotlight, and then we're going to add geometry out, and connect it. And then we're going to set the density to 0.2. We're gonna see what that does. Thank you. I did it. It, it was for your, your treat. But don't worry, I have more. Okay, treat. I just got in trouble for eating chocolate that my daughter gave to me and was just expecting that I wasn't going to eat it. Okay, so if you want to edit this, you have to click back on the node editor and then click on volumetric spotlight. And then you can change it here. So let's go to point one and it does not update here until you close this. Once you close it, it should update. The other thing you have to make sure that you set up is under your mesh properties you have to set up material, whatever the name of this material is, and the the node that you want. So in my case, so this is this is why I couldn't see any of the updates I was making was because I didn't have that se selected. So now if we go back here, let's turn the density back up to 0.1. See what that does. Yep, that looks good. Anyway, I thought it was super fascinating and I wanted to share with you guys. So I'll continue to share whatever I learn and I encourage you guys to do the same. Thank you, Wolf, for sharing this in Discord. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.